Um, hey YouTube, this is uh, me again, coming back to make a video with a lot of realness to it. And the title of the video is simply put, Stop Living Above Your Means. Say it again, Stop Living Above Your Means. When I say Stop Living Above Your Means, I mean, Stop, stop using money you know you don't have to buy stuff you cannot afford. And then getting mad when your money runs out that you could have used for something a little more productive. Now you're going to people begging for more. And they're tired of giving you stuff because they're looking at you like, wait, how old are you and you can't manage a dollar? Really? Like you living above your means way too much for no reason. It's not that serious. Like, how, how are you so many years old? And you're still doing this bad financially. Like I said, I can see if you're putting your money towards trying to help somebody else. It's understandable, you know. You try to have a good heart and do right by people when they cost you. But the thing is, there's people that like, know they don't gather like that, but they'll buy stuff to prove they do. Know when they don't, and then they be looking stupid when, uh... When the stuff they should have bought, now they can't get that. Now they're trying to ask other people for that money, which is dumb. Because had you just, you know, used your money for the right purposes, you wouldn't have had to do all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, people go out their way to, like, buy cars and jewelry and name brand clothes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm helping out with that. I'm helping out with that. I'm helping out with that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know, it's weird. <laughs> All right. But yeah. Right. Huh? Matthew? Yes, sir. All right, now I got it. Mm-hmm. Have a good day, man. Well, yeah, but people, they tend to like to buy cars, jewelry, name brand clothes, name brand shoes. All this stuff while still living in their parents' basement, still eating off their parents, their parents are still buying them stuff. Or say they got kids. They're fresh to death while their child looks like death in general. Then it's like you got women trying to buy acrylic nails, fake eyelashes, fake hair, trying to get Botox injections, getting silicone butt, silicone chest, silicone this, fake that, fake this. Trying to buy all this stuff they know they cannot, can't, they, 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 they can't afford. Now they a little fresh to death, but they hungry. Really? Really? Now you gotta go around begging other people for stuff because you keep living above your means. Or I even live with this. People that don't work, who have an addiction to a certain uh, plant, I ain't gonna say the name of it, but y'all know what plant I'm talking about. Keep trying to buy it knowing you cannot afford it, then you run out of that money. Now you coming back asking someone else to help you pay for it. Stop living above your means, fam. Stop doing that. I mean, I understand, you know, we all like nice things, but here's the thing about it. If you know you cannot afford it, stop trying to get it. Because then you're going to keep doing that. Then you're going to start owing people. Then you owe people money. You can't give them back. Now you're going begging to other people. Now you're owing other people money. And the money that you owe to other people. Now you got to pay the people you keep begging to pay the people that you know you owe. You see how, how that backs up on you? Instead of just owing one person, now you owe multiple people. And you know you can't pay them back, so you try to find every excuse in the book as to why you can't do it. Oh, I got kids. I don't work. I got a disability. You know I can't afford that. Then, then they're looking at you like, well, if you couldn't afford it, then why did you take it from me in the first place? Stop living above your means, man. Stop doing that. Like, I mean, I can see if you're young and you don't know nothing about money because nobody ever taught you, but after a certain age, man, you got to do better. Like, you at least got to try to do better, man. Because there's people that will sit around all day in their house knowing their living arrangements ain't right, but they try to make it look right knowing it's not. 
Like, you'll try to go and buy some luxurious stuff knowing you can't afford to put it in your house and be broke. Not have no food and be hungry. None of your bills are paid, but your house looks nice. Not cool, man. Then, like I said before, you got to keep going to other people to ask them to help you out. Knowing all you have to do is spend that money on what you needed. Like I said, let, 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 let me explain something to you. If you work hard for what you got, then yeah, go and, you know, you know, buy some nice stuff. Treat yourself. You worked hard for it. But if you're one of them people that just sit on your butt every day, don't do anything, you collect government help. Don't just go blowing that money because you don't know how long you're going to have that. And the way the government works, you don't even know if you're promised to get it every day. And then you're blowing that money on jewelry, name brand clothes, name brand shoes, all this stuff you know in reality you can't afford. Then now your lights off, your gas is off, your heat is off. Come on, man. Then you're like, then you're foreclosed on your house or your car or something trying to live above your means or trying to use that government assistant money to buy a car and a house you like i said you don't know if you're going to actually have to pay that money back at a certain point but instead of being smart and trying to invest that money in like real estate or i don't know acorns or bitcoin or something like that you're just wasting it on dumb stuff or at least invest it in silver and gold or buy some silver and gold offline and try to save that so it goes up in value or something or find some pennies. And then and I learned this just a thought out there. If you ever find any pennies with Abraham Lincoln's ears too big or there's some type of misfunction with the penny, it's worth money. Look it up. Just saying. But yeah, stop you know, living above what you know you can't, because unfortunately, I've seen my own kind, which is African Americans, we tend to do that a lot, and then get mad when we don't have nothing to show for what we just brought, because it ran out of value. Like, for example, gold chains. I can understand if you're buying that because you're trying to let it go up in value down some time, but if you're just wearing it just to have it, no, you don't plan on doing nothing with it except wearing it, a waste of money man and buying Jordans when clearly your boy said his shoes are not for poor underprivileged broke people his shoes are for white suburban youth I mean he puts them in the hood it's your choice to buy them but like he said his shoes are not for his shoes are not for poor black people they're for privileged white kids not y'all but y'all be the ones buying up his stuff the quickest. And all this jewelry. Unless you're investing this jewelry in something worthwhile, stop buying it. Just please stop buying it. I mean, it's your money. You do what you want. But at the end of the day, you have to know how to do stuff wisely or you're going to always be caught up in a rat race. I'm trying to impress people with stuff that you know you cannot afford. Then you got hungry kids, bills that ain't due, a house note that, that ain't been paid, a car note that ain't been paid. Now you got a whole like pink note on your door saying you're going to get evicted or your car is going to get repoed or towed or whatever. All because you're trying to, how, to, how does that old school say, that saying go? You're trying to keep up with the Jetsons while you live like the Flintstones. Again. You're trying to keep up with the Jetsons knowing you got it like the Flintstones. And that's a yabba dumb dumb idea. Or as the alien off of the Jetsons would say, bad move, dumb dumb, bad move. And it's funny, you know this, and I've seen this on Facebook, and it's very true. People that work hard, it's weird, it seems like they do way worse off than people that just take, you know, unemployment or government assistance. But here's the thing that the people that work hard need to remember. Them people that take government assistance, they can't retire off of that and based off of who's the president and who's in charge, you, you literally don't know how long that's going to last. People that work, your paychecks are guaranteed. People that don't, yours are not. 
And plus, people that work, you have a retirement coming. People that don't work, you don't. So you can sit there and collect government government assistance your whole life, but depending on who's in charge of America at the time, that doesn't mean that's promised to you. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So if you got kids or you care anything about your future, man, deal with your finances the proper way so you ain't got to be suffering in the end because of that. Because a lot of people think, oh, I'm going to live off this government assistance forever. You don't know that. I don't know if you've seen the last president we just had. But if it wasn't for that stimulus money being a thing, and we barely got that, and it was massive people suffering from not having that. So just imagine the next president that comes after our president we got now who's like the president before him. What's going to happen? Especially if people ain't saving their money right and investing it properly, what's going to happen? All that government assistance ain't going to always be there. It's really not, especially the way America's debt with China is. And we owe them, I think, over a trillion dollars, if not more. So how do you know if that money that you got is going to always last? It won't, especially when people like to live above what they know they don't have. Like, seriously, then y'all trying to be like the people on television with all the nice cars and the jewelry and the big houses. Little known fact to y'all about that. Ain't none of that stuff there. I forgot what they call that, but, um, all them rappers and stuff are doing is, um, they're pretty much wearing the chains, the clothes, and the cars because they're trying to make, like, they're, they're advertising that stuff for a whole nother company. And like I said, once as a celebrity, your name gets, you know, so heavy in the media and people start liking you and respecting you, then them businesses know, let me let this person wear my jewelry, let, this, let me let this person wear my clothes, oh yeah, an endorsement, basically. That celebrity is endorsing all that stuff they're wearing, it's not theirs. Like that chain, that car, that house, that money, that stuff is an endorsement, which means they're signing off some type of contract or some type of waiver to have that stuff in their music video. Once the music video is done, they got to give all that stuff back. Because they can't afford none of it. Literally, they cannot afford any of that. All the women in the videos, they ain't real. They're just there for camera time. They ain't real. Seriously, none of that's real. So if you're going to go trying to live like them celebrities, just know... The celebrities you're trying to live like ain't living like that at all. They're just putting up a false image to make you live that way so you get caught up in a financial mess you can't get yourself out of. Then you end up owing debt for stuff you can't afford trying to live like people who really don't live like that. I'm just saying. That's just weird. So, just so you know, and oh yeah, and just, and it's just so it's understood. There is time when the celebrity might be able to keep that stuff for one wrong move and they lose it all. So you think you want to live that way, you do what you do, but I'm just letting you know. Trying to live above your means. Like you're living like the, like you're trying to live like the Jetsons while you got it like the Flintstones and that's a yabba dabba dumb idea. And then, like I said, as the alien gizmo off the, off Jefferson, I mean the Jetsons and say, that's a very stupid idea, dum dum. Cause when you on your when you on the street looking fresh, but your house is foreclosed, ain't got no car, ain't got no money, you ain't got a way to eat. Again, should not have been living above means you know you don't have. And then, like I said before, you go on to church praying to God that your money get right. God's like, first of all. Why is it that I'm, I'm giving you money that I know you're not going to use for the right purpose? Every time I give you money, you keep using it for the wrong reason. I don't mind blessing you with it, but you have to learn to start using it for the right purposes, man. Because every time I give it to you, you're messing it up every single time. It's like then you got children and your children ain't even being fed properly or at all. Going to school with the same clothes on every day, probably stinking, ain't eight in days, but you're fresh to death. Really. Bills ain't paid, houses behind, bills and rent, car note due, all that stuff behind, but you look fresh. Then you gotta go begging other people for money, or you at the store looking around for stuff. You can, 
Like you literally can't afford a dollar, but you look like you fresh. At the gas pump, can't afford gas, but you look fresh. Still asking your parents for money, but you look fresh. Living in your parents' basement, but you look fresh. Then you got a baby mama you can't afford, but you look fresh. How? Seriously. And then you keep going back for government assistance. You keep using that the wrong way, then that eventually runs out. You ain't got a job, so you ain't got nothing to fall back on. Seriously. Then you, again, you're going around asking other people for their hard-earned money, getting mad when they tell you no, or you got to owe it back to them. Then they give it to you, then they ask you for it back. Now, uh, like, dude, you didn't even have to give me the money. Like, you're getting mad about that little funky $20. Like, it wasn't even that serious. Like, you didn't even have to give it to me. But it wasn't like that when you was asking, oh, bro, you mind if I, you, you, do, 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 you mind if I hold this, do, 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 you mind if I hold that, I promise I'll pay you a bag. And then once the day come for you to pay it back, you find every excuse in the book why you can't or why you shouldn't have to. Oh, we're supposed to be family. Oh, we're supposed to be friends. Oh, I thought we was cool. Yeah, we are cool. But I need my stuff back. I work hard for that, you know? So, yeah. And it wasn't all that when you was asking for it. Now, all of a sudden, there's every excuse in the book as to why you can't give it back. But when you was begging, you was promising to give it back. Again, please stop living above your means. But, oh yeah, and then you have an attitude with people when they don't want to help you out, knowing they didn't help you out as much as they can. Now, you got an attitude with them, saying they're fake, you're a weirdo, all this, that, and the other. But in, in the whole time, you was the one being the fake snake weirdo and instead of you just being a man and, or a woman and owning up to that you just find every reason why you're not wrong so I'm just saying yeah goodbye